So are people really that unhappy about the expansion? Yeah. Really? What 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 were they want? What did they want? I don't know, just saying a whole bunch of shit about how Blizzard sucks dick. Which I don't even I don't even we, disagree with. Yeah, I, I mean, true. Yeah, I, I don't understand. It, it, it's just weird. Negative comments on YouTube. I, I'll look and see for myself, okay? So let, let's look right now, and we're going to see what the YouTube comments are. Because obviously people were talking about this. As oh, well. no. All right, we're going to read these, okay? We're going to read the comments. Asmongold, don't. They're mad. I'm telling they're you, they're mad. mad. All right, let's see here. Asmongold blown away by World of Warcraft expansion reveal. Here we go. One hour ago. The stone guy had a better story than all of Shadow Ants. One thing about flying from the start is they're finally embracing flying and making zones based on it. All I want is a fun expansion. This expansion doesn't have to be the greatest expansion ever. I just want it to be fun with a solid story. The fact that they're finally acknowledging... Go to, um, uh, go to Kale. I also, Dragonflight cinematic was easily one of the worst ones ever. Graphics were good, but it was boring as fuck. See, I thought the cinematic was totally fine. I'm gonna be honest, I thought the cinematic was totally fucking fine. You have to understand that, um... Okay. So, here is my resistance towards boring content. People said that the first season of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure was really slow at the start. I thought it was lit. Okay, number one. Number two. I thought the A Realm Reborn pacing and the Company of Heroes questline was fun in Final Fantasy XIV. Okay? Number three. Ironically, three. I've leveled to level 60 in New World three times. Okay? I only watch Lord of the Rings with the extended editions. Okay? Like, I, this is not... Like, I, I, this, is, this will not bother me. It's not an issue. The fact they're finally acknowledging some of the core issues gives me hope that this might be worth coming back for. It's been said a thousand times, but you and your team are extremely quick. Thank you for doing this for all of us who can't catch the stream live. Yes, good job. Cat, Danny, and Daily Dose are literal gods. Uh, let's see here. The last nine months, uh, I was my senior getting hyped by the same people who have been making promises that they don't deliver for five years. It's not the same people because those people are in jail now. M many of them are in fucking jail. So I, let, let's let's say that number one. Yeah, they're they're in jail or they're they're being charged right now. So yeah, they're fucking fired. And also they're not though. Well, Ian, you know, is is what it is, right? But like you know, it's it's better. But charge attacks, you can move UI elements. It's good. Yeah, it is an improvement. There's no lose scenario here. Either the expansion is good and we play, or it's bad and we watch the boat continue to sink. Both are equally as entertaining. Exactly. See, like, I look at it, this is the same thing as with New World, right? Is everybody was like, oh man, I hate New World. New World is so bad. There's no content. It's like, you have to think outside the box. You have to think outside the game. Once you understand that the entertainment value that New World provided on release was not limited to the game itself, but the dupes and the surrounding drama about the game, suddenly New World was fun. Suddenly now, wait a minute, hold up. Now it's actually a good game. Now we're having fun. Now everything's great. And so that's, that's the way I look at it, is that I literally can't lose. Dislike ratio of cinematic. I don't have the add-on, and I I don't I don't know the add-on's not accurate because I've compared it to like people who said my dislike ratio, and then I've looked at it and it's been wrong. So I I don't know. My expectations are negative. At them giving us a good expansion, all we can go is up. Basically, true. Wait, actually, maybe that could be a challenge. I hope they're not reading this one. Hey, you don't understand. Mr. Boys would really change this time. He even promised to include some in-game feedback we asked for five years ago. See, I don't understand. Summon me over there. Just let me know whenever you guys are ready. Um, I don't understand why people are unhappy about this. Because, like, if the game sucks, who cares? I mean, really, who cares? Like, if it sucks, then we're just not going to play the game. Like, I I'm not looking for... Like, I'm not trying to get married here. I'm not looking to make a lifelong investment of my time. I'm just playing the game. This is simply a video game that I I enjoy. It's a reductive take. I don't think that it is. 
I think that people have so much... They People put such high expectations on a video game that I feel like it just... It's, it's gotten too far away, man. It, it's gotten too far away. You've 180 on WoW from five years ago. Do you know why I've 180 on WoW? Is because I spent five years being in the other direction. I'm tired of complaining about a game that I play every single fucking day. It's like a mental disorder. You don't play every day. You're a poser. You're, you're a, right. You're I haven't a played every day. Poser. No, I, I've taken a break. You're right. I'm coming back now. Uh, T Tesla Motors, thank you very much for the uh, 10 gifted subs. I appreciate that, Elon. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm not going to waste my time getting mad about this for no reason. Yeah, it, it, I don't, I don't want to do that. Why the fuck would I want to do that? Like, it, I mean, really, like, it makes perfect sense. Uh, truth is, you're extreme casual now? Well, I mean, if that, yeah, I mean, I think that I kind of am. Uh, in, in a lot of ways, I am. It sounds crazy, but, um, it, it, yeah, sure. Read comments on the official trailer. Okay, sure. Um, official trailer, it, it, it's this one, right? Cinematic trailer. Okay, here we go. The art team is the last pillar of this company. We'll protect the Azeroth directors once again. Um, okay, we must entrust everything to you. The Watchers look after our home while we're gone. The Watchers instantly start sleeping, watching nothing for 10,000 years. That's true. Um, the world is healing. What about the big sword stuck in it? What sword? That's, that's, it's weird. That's so weird. I... I, I don't know what they're doing. I don't know why they're ignoring the giant fucking sword in the ground. What do you mean? What sword? Come on. Why are they doing that? What, what why? Do what are you talking about? What plot point is that going to serve in the future? I don't understand. Like, what do you mean? Oh, God. Yeah, what do you mean, dude? Like, I, I can't. I, I don't know. Like, I mean... Yeah, it's what do you what do you mean what sword? Like, well, I don't remember sword. Yeah, like you mean Come you mean on, like Ash Steven. <laughs> You mean like Ash Condi? <laughs> okay, time to far farm all the colors of the Drake mounts. So glad Stonebro was rescued. True. After killing Deathwing, the Age of Mortals has begun. We mess everything up. The Age of Dragons has begun. Um, the world is healing, so we're just gonna keep ignoring the giant sword then. Yes, that's about right. The first non-drama, non-traumatic WoW cinematic, it's also very vague. It doesn't have one main story, but it might be different branches, different stories, just like Vanilla WoW. Exactly. I think this is good. They fall for it every time. I'm not... Dude. I'm not falling for it. Oh I, I, my wh god. Like, why do you... Why do these fucking stupid... I fu... I, I, dude, I hate spending six hours every time... Your fucking team releases a video reading the dumb ass comments, bro. I legit spend so much time reading this shit and they're all dumb. They're all dumb. I know. I know. It's just like, I actually think that me playing other MMOs was the worst thing to happen to some people in my community. It actually, people cannot deal with it. Like if there's one day where I play Lost Ark, and the next day, I'm playing Final Fantasy or WoW or New World. They lose their fucking minds. They are not. They can't handle this at all. They're fucking furious. Jesus. Let's see what the Reddit's thinking about this. I'm actually kind of curious about this. Um, let's see here. And uh, like an announcement, let's send to learn the hard way with uh, no shadow ends. Oh, the pre-order thing. Yeah. And let's see here, Drakthir. I'm wondering if they have the picture of Kalagos. I'm not seeing it anywhere here. Not safe for work. Okay, we're not going to look at that one. Oh, fuck. I don't know where this is. Screw the negativity. Wait, are people being negative about the expansion? I, oh, let, let's see what people are saying. Yeah, send it to you on Discord. They aren't? Well, let's see what they said. Uh, I brought in a negative attitude based on the leaks I'm sold. However, I and everyone else should wait until release before spending a single dime. It really seems like we're trying to make everyone happy. The expansion? Well, that's good. That's what we want them to do. Like, we want them to try to make us happy. Like, this is not like... I, I hate how people, like, turn this into, like, a bad thing. Like, oh, they're just doing it to make the community happy. Yeah, but fucking obviously, that's what they're supposed to do. That's the whole point, you know? Zoom in a bit? Sure. Uh, let me actually make this the new Reddit because it's easier to read things that way, okay? And uh, let's see here, that's the expansion. And uh, let's go back over here. I'm gonna change this one as well. All right, so let's see what people are saying here. And uh, if we got ducks, yeah, that's great too. 
Uh, talk about special point grind. I'll be forced to remain competitive. I, I don't know. I think that the... I, I think that farming a secondary system is totally fine as long as you don't have to farm that secondary system on alts. That's generally the way that I feel about it. And, and also if it's not like time gated with a bunch of bullshit, right? But just overall, I'm fine as long as it's account wide. Make it account wide and it's okay. Because I think that almost every game has secondary progression systems. You look at even something like uh, Vampire Survivors, you have like upgrades you can buy. Uh, you look at something like uh, uh, Final Fantasy. Let's see, what, do they have anything like that in Final Fantasy? I haven't gotten to Endgame, so I'm not even really sure. I'll talk about Lost Ark, right? Lost Ark's got a million of these examples. Uh, let's see, New World has, uh, they have like, I guess like weapon leveling, etc. But you don't really play alts in New World, so it's a different thing. Uh, in general, I think that really what they should look at is making sure that every task that is a fundamental MMO grind, and I'm also going to say, I don't think that fundamental MMO grinds are bad. I don't think that MMO grinds are bad fundamentally. I think that some people enjoy them, and they can be fulfilling by reaching certain points. And it's like, if you don't like grinding, maybe you shouldn't play an MMO. Like, I mean, that's just really the truth. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, that's, that's the way I feel about it. And um, check the tier list armor again. They added the dragon one. Really? Okay, let me see it again. Uh, the dragon one, let's see it right now. Holy shit! These tier sets seem to be related to the elemental proto-dragon leaders. Oh my god. Where are their arms? Yo! -ho! Look at them little arms. Look at the, arms. Look at the, look at the paladin uh, one. That one's fucking sick. Yeah. These are the same ones, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I see it. This is cool. Oh my god. Yeah, the earthen one looks really cool too. And so I like this. this. This one's got like kind of more of a beak, like the Anzus. Uh, this one's got the Deathwing uh, mouth. This has got like the traditional dragon, uh, like a storm dragon one. And, and this one's more like the, uh, you know what it reminds me a little bit of? It reminds me of the uh, of the magma worms in Elden Ring. Uh, oh, with like the larger lower mouth, you know? Yeah, like, that's cool. Yeah. I like this a lot. Yeah, small. Yeah, exactly. With a proto dragon, I really like how they have different faces, and you can see kind of like one example of this that I thought they did really well in Warlords of Draenor is they showed throughout like the different types of ecology in Warlords of Draenor the difference between like how something like Tectus evolved into an ogre, with like the you know the Grons, the Ogrons, the Ogres, the Living Mountains, right? And and like the the whole evolution of it, I thought was really really well done. It was very well designed. And it was subtle, but it was really well designed. I loved it, man. So I hope they do more of that. And so, yeah, evolution's fake. Well, if it's fake, then explain how there's the things that look the same. Got him. Yeah. Come on, there it is. Uh, Glamrung? Yeah, he does look a little bit like that, because he does... Well, Glamrung is one of the first dragons in uh, Middle-earth, and he actually didn't have wings. It wasn't until later on that dragons became uh, winged monsters. Glamrung uh, had no wings. Uh, God did that? Yeah, true, actually. And I've uh, seen a lot of complaints so far on uh, on lack of a great enemy. Who cares? See, this is what I find to be so ridiculous. Is that Legion did not really have a great enemy. It didn't. There was no great grand enemy of Legion. I don't think so. It was Gul'dan, right? And then, like, what's going to happen after Gul'dan? It's like, maybe we're going to fight Sargeras. It wasn't like, okay... It did, but the villain wasn't on the box. Do you understand kind of the difference between, like, Wrath of the Lich King and Legion? We're like, Legion, we went from conflict to conflict, whereas, like, uh, in Wrath of the Lich King, we had, like, one enemy, big boss, fight him, it's just that guy. But also, I think that Legion's not really that great of example in general. Uh, I think a better example, of course, is Mists of Pandaria. Mists of Pandaria did not have an enemy on the box. Well, it did, it was the pandas. But, um, and I agree with that. Uh, however, it was still a good expansion. I actually think that it's a good idea that they don't have maybe like a, a definitive, uh, a, a definitive like, okay, this is the way that the game is going to go, right? Uh, it, it's that kind of a thing. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy about that. I don't think it's a bad thing at all. Let, let's read some of the feedback from players and uh, see what they have to say. Mm. One of the, dude, one of the, like, so don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm happy that they didn't announce like a big new system or anything like that. Yeah. But one of the things I'm curious about is like, what what are what is what are we supposed to do? Like, what what is there? What content like new content is like coming out? 
You know what I mean? Like, what is there and the Dragon Isles to do? Uh, I don't know. I mean, probably just, like, stuff, and just give you, like, uh, bosses, and, like, there's probably, like, other, like, guys to kill, and there's, like, probably a mount you can farm somewhere. Like, that's kind of what I'm expecting. There's gonna be, like, probably a world quest where, like, you have to go and, like, kill ten, uh, like, uh, proto-drakes or something that are, like, corrupted. Or, like, kill, like, fifteen centaurs and collect, like, five centaur spears and, and you get, like, ten azurite power. And, uh, then you can spend that to upgrade your crafting gear, but you craft one that has a low quality and so you have to throw it away. That's pretty much what, I mean, like, it, it's, I feel like it's gonna be uh... lit. Uh, I mean, it's it's gonna be lit. That's uh, yeah. I mean, and it's gonna be great, guys. Yeah, hundred percent. Stop leaking. Yeah, sure. Oh, Knowles too. Yeah, exactly. Uh, they should do a quest uh, in in uh, uh, in in Dragonflight. I'm gonna call it Dragonblight. Fucking fifty million times. Uh, in, in Dragonflight, where you have to get uh, a b nine painted Knoll bands, uh, just like the original quest in Elwyn Forest. I, I feel like they have to do that, man. Absolutely. What's the name of our new capital, Asmon? I don't remember what it was called. It's like some fucking thing. Uh, yeah, let's see here. By the way, Calgos model is an MMO champion. I'll have to look at that in a bit. Scared about 100-hour dragon flight grind? I don't think it's bad as long as you don't have to do it more than once, and it's something that retains its value throughout the expansion. Like 100 hours of content versus 100 hours of grind. What's really the difference? I think the difference is if it's fun or not. Uh, that That's generally the way that I see it. So, yeah, l let's see what people have to say. Uh, I love the commentary by Ian right after. No one saw it coming. Kept it ki kept it very secret. <laughs> well, they did this before. Like, th they made a joke because Wrath of the Lich King got leaked a week early, too. A and they literally just joked about it right there at BlizzCon. Because, like, obviously it happened. You know, let's not pretend like it didn't happen. Right? It obviously fucking happened. Um, let's see here. Uh, followed by Jeff Kaplan during Overwatch 2 reveal. Had something like, remember Sylvanas and Helmet Domination? Well, that was me and my phone whenever I first heard about the leaks. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think that's totally okay. Uh, this could be one of the expansions ever. I think that would be, uh, th that's a pretty good analysis. Absolutely. Uh, I like the colorful high fantasy setting. The race looks weird as fuck, though. Uh, I, I think so, yeah. I mean, the race is definitely, let's be honest, it's a really big risk for Blizzard to do this. They're yeah. adding in an entire new race into the game. They can only play one class, and it's a brand new class. And as far as I know, you can only play that class if you're that dragon. So what's going to happen? I don't know. Like, I'm actually I'm actually not sure. Is this the right decision or not? I'm kind of glad to see them doing something that's so uh, so aggressive, though. I feel like it's kind of a... Um, that's fucking super aggressive. Yeah, like, I I'm glad to see them trying something crazy. Okay, great, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do something different. It's brave. It's stunning and brave. Exactly. And uh, let's see here. They should make them be able to be warrior, mage, and evoker. I'm not sure. I, I think they might add that later on based off of how they're uh, uh, how they're received. Let's see here. Uh, shortest age of mortals ever. Who gives a shit? Uh, no one seen it coming, right? Race and class locked. Okay, and uh, interesting. Cinematic was mad. I feel like nothing happened. Big stone dude turned on a tower. Okay. Definitely one of the weakest and worst reveal cinematics. Might actually be my least favorite. Uh, I actually liked it more than the BFA, or sorry, the Shadowlands one. Yeah, I, I thought... I, I liked it more. Th I mean, like, it's hard to fucking... It's hard to be worse than that. Oh, what'd you think about the, uh, the Wrath remix kind of cinematic? I thought that was cool, bro. Like, I was honestly hoping they, they redid the whole thing. Yeah, I, I, I was. Too, but yeah, I was hoping they did. I was like, oh, I didn't do it. Like, I mean, that would be kind of crazy if they did. To be fair, uh, but still, but uh, yeah, there's no LFG and Wrath of the Lich King. Uh, Shadowlands okay tier for someone who's no knowledge of WoW. See, like, I thought the cinematic was totally fine. I, I, I did. I, I, th I thought it was totally fine. It, it's like not every cinematic has to be like this, like crazy massive thing or whatever. Like, let me let me pull up the trailer and and, and we'll look at it right. <laughs> Bro, I'm just glad nothing got shattered by a very strong, independent woman. That yeah, it's just, just dragons flying around, bro. Just, yeah, just it's just it's just dragons flying around, and, and I think cool that's clearly what the vibe was, right? Like this is cool, like everything about this was totally fine, and I think that actually them not having this like massive crazy thing, I I feel like this is definitely a departure from. This, this expansion, everything about it and the way that it's being delivered and all, in terms of like the narrative and everything, 
reminds me a lot, a lot of Mists of Pandaria. Yep. So yeah, it feels like, yeah, it's it's a really cool cinematic. I like it a lot. And it's just extremely, it's extremely vague and it just is cool. That's it. Like, Yo, it, go ahead. was that tier though? Is that tier or, it, or what? I, I don't know. I thought tier was somewhere else. Like it's so confusing that that would even I'm, happen. Yeah, I don't know who the guy was. Yeah, and like the dragon picking him up, I thought this was just fucking badass. Like, all, all things considered, like, even if you don't like it necessarily, there wasn't, like, a huge plot point or something like this. That was really fucking cool, man. Tears the dude on the throne? Yeah, but I thought he was, like, in Tears Fall. Tears Fall? You know? Tears Fall? Tears Fall? Like, I I thought that's that's where he was. But, you know, it is what it is, right? Uh, I, I'm not sure. Jolly Green Giant? I'm fine with it, man. That's totally okay with me. And, uh, yeah, just in general, I, I'm, I'm happy about this. This is really cool. And um, we'll see what happens. I mean, if this is... I, I think introducing an expansion without, like, some overarching, like, massive villain narrative might actually make the team more free to make better stories. Because I thought in, in, uh, in, in Mr. Pandaria, we had the Thunder King story that just happened in one patch. In Vanilla WoW, I, I think this also reminds me a little bit of Vanilla WoW. Like, what's really happening in the Vanilla WoW cinematic? Nothing. Players' characters are just running around. And there's a little bit of PvP going on. There's no Kel'Thuzad or C'Thun or, uh, you know, Nefarian in the cinematic. It's just some people running around. And that's fine. I'm totally okay with that. So I'm waiting to see what's going to happen besides this, and uh, we'll go from there. Check the talent tree, the spec tree, and the class tree. Rusted Druids can get Skull Bash interrupt. Oh, fuck. Okay, oh great. Yeah, yeah. Well, look, it, it's it's still it's not even an alpha yet. All right, we're we're, we're gonna let them. We're not gonna get upset or worried about that yet. Okay, and, and so yeah, they add in the villain later. It's not a big deal. Uh, watch in depth dev interview. Uh, they don't mention any seasonal point system of any kind. Yeah, I think so. I think they'll probably do one, but they're not gonna mention it in a reveal because of how the player base will respond. Uh, I'm not overly excited or disappointed. I usually wait to play the expansion before I make any assumptions. But indeed, you cannot make everyone happy. Yeah, I, I guess... Yeah, I, I think that's very true. And uh, let's see here. And uh, I, I want to look and see what people are saying. Because apparently there's a lot of people. There's like anti-threads. Where are the negative threads uh, about on the your, game? On your subreddit, there's some. Okay. All right, cool. Let's look at them. Uh, do you think Season Master is done for good after this announcement? No, I think the opposite, actually. Uh, l l let's see here. What sword? Okay, l let's see on uh, on my Reddit. Um, Asmongold. Okay, let's see if we can find this over here. Okay. You gotta sort by new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, let me sort by new off screen, especially with the introduction of the new dragon race. Um, okay, let's see here. All right, guys. There it is, boys. We're ready. I, I used to play that game back whenever I was like, uh, I don't even know how old. Like, it was a long time ago. 